Hey guys, CritDev here. Today I just wanted to show you guys how to make buybinds in Counter-Strike Global Offensive. The way most people uh, buy weapons and armor and stuff is they'll go into their buy menu and they'll either click on the different little titles and stuff or they'll go ahead and use the numbers to do that. Um, I used to use the numbers. It, it, you can do it pretty quickly. You can get it kind of going fast, but the most, the quickest way and the most effective way, if you ask me, is buy binds. So most people would say buy like an M4 this way or like you know like that. Um, but the but if you look at this, I can buy a whole like loadout of gear by just doing this. And I can even do it while running. It's really easy. I just bought everything in like less than two seconds, and so. It helps you coordinate buys with your team. You can get your guns, and then you you won't miss out going to your locate going to your spot on the map. You won't like lose time running there because you're still in spawn buying guns. So I'm gonna just go ahead and show you guys how to do that, and uh, hopefully it'll help you guys out. All right, guys. So in order to get buy binds working for you, the first thing you're gonna want to do is open up your computer. Go ahead and go to the drive that you installed CSGO on. Program files x86, Steam, Steam Apps, Common, then Counter-Strike Global Offensive, and then CSGO. All right, so once you're in here, you're gonna wanna hit the CFG folder, go into that. And inside of here, look for an autoexec.cfg folder. Uh, if you do not see that, don't worry. Uh, all you're gonna have, all you will want to do is go ahead and open Notepad, and then just go ahead and save it as. Uh, go ahead and go back to the same directory. Steam, Steam apps, common, Counter Strike Global Offensive, CS Go, whoops, CS Go, and then CFG, and then just go ahead and save it as auto exec dot CFG. Make sure save type as is set to all files. So just go ahead and save an autoexec.cfg in this folder. And then once you do that, just you're gonna type into these all the different commands you want. So let me just go ahead and show you my autoexec real quick. One moment. All right, so this is my autoexec. I have, you just basically type bind space, whatever key you want. So in this example, keypad underscore enter space and then in quotations by space whatever gun AK-47 or by M4A1. I set both because you won't be able to buy an AK if you're a CT and so I can just hit that and I'll buy either an AK or an M4 if I have enough money depending on the team. So you'll just want to do a lot of these different kinds of things. So I just like bind K KP underscore plus space by op. The thing that I do want to note though is these binds might not work the best for you because my keyboard is a little different. It has the keypad and like the center thing that's usually between the, your key, like your typing keys and the keypad that has like uh, home and delete and stuff. That's the same as the keypad. So these binds won't necessarily work the best for you. But I'm going to have a link in the description that says every single key, um, how you would type it. And then, in addition to that, what the commands for every single gun in the game is. So go, you can go ahead and do that. And then if you just basically type all these things, you can just go into the game, press the key you set to buy the gun to, and it should work. Now, that being said, you will have to do some additional things. You'll have to go into your library, go to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, right-click that, and then hit Properties. And then in Set Launch Options, you're going to have to make sure that somewhere in here, you have plus exec space auto exec dot cfg. You're gonna to want to make sure that's in there somewhere. That way, it'll launch. It'll launch your auto exec as soon as you launch the game. So that should basically be it. If you guys have any questions on how to get this working, go ahead and leave any comments or ask me on my Ask FM or tweet at me, and I'll be happy to answer them. Make sure you go ahead and check the description as well because that'll have a lot of extra information like every key you can bind it to, um, what the gun names are, all that kind of stuff will be in the description. So make sure you check that out. And if you are on my Steam guide, then you can also check that just in the Steam guide itself. So thank you guys for watching. 
I really appreciate it. Hopefully this helps you guys get bybinds working. It shouldn't be too complicated. And again, if there are any questions, go ahead and ask me. And if I get enough of them, I'll even make a video about it. So thank you guys for watching. Check my link for, uh, check my description or below this for all my social media. Um, go ahead and follow my Twitch. I stream on there every so often, like four times a week. And um, thank you guys. Subscribe for tomorrow's video and I will see you guys tomorrow.